Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, aka Mr. Hardware, here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Hardware in St. Clair Shores. Today we're going to talk about masonry anchors. Anchoring stuff outside or inside to uh, brick, cinder block, such as that. And there's a couple of easy anchors for doing this job. Uh, one thing that's good, these are called sleeve anchors. A sleeve anchor is a handy anchor because you can go through the project you're going to install it into without having to relocate it to make a hole to install an anchor like the conventional ways. We can take a little prop here, we've got a bracket, and we want to attach it to a masonry wall. The beauty of this sleeve anchor is we can drill a hole through our bracket into the masonry wall. We can then take our anchor, shove it through the hole without having to move what we're going to anchor, and we tighten it down. What happens is, is as we tighten it down, the base of the anchor will pull into the sleeve, making it get larger back in the wall, such as like this. So after it's installed, the anchor swells up and it pinches into the concrete. Now these are very strong, easy to install, and come in a multitude of sizes. Uh, one of my favorites is a small sleeve anchor. I like to use this for flag poles and flag brackets that are going on the wall. As the wind pulls in the bracket and rips it back and forth, the harder the bracket gets pulled on, the more the bolt causes the sleeve to expand. Pretty neat. So, sometimes these are good when you only have one or two anchors holding something that's very heavy or undergoes some stress. Another way to do something very similar to the sleeve is a dry pin anchor. You can take this anchor here and it's got a nail and you drill the hole same as earlier you don't have to relocate you drill the hole through the bracket shove the dry pin anchor in there hit the nail when you hit the nail the back of the anchor will expand and wedge itself from the wall the beauty is is now I can take this nut on and off so I can loosen it so I can take this bracket on and off the wall for some reason I need to remove it or adjust it from time to time now we can also have a dry pin anchor that doesn't have a bolt or anything. These are excellent for signs. I use these for the signs in the parking lot. People used to try, I used to put them up with the sleeve anchors and a few of them being they were made out of aluminum, they were stolen. So I went out and replaced them with these dry pin anchors. You drill a quarter inch hole right through your project, put the anchor in, hit the nail, and that's it. It is, the back of this expands and this holds it very well into the wall and it's hard for anybody to remove. So this anchor is not used for something that you're putting up or taking down. Then another excellent anchor are the tap cons, as these are commonly referred, or masonry screws. These come in a flat head or a hex head. They come in all kinds of lengths from real short to very long. I use these anchors quite often when I'm putting furring strips up on a basement wall. So that should conclude our masonry anchors for today.